have uh, Simon Redfern's back on the stage. Uh, again, he doesn't really need an introduction with API Days, um, but uh, he is talking today about the broader topic of where financial APIs are going and where they should go, in his own opinion, of course. So <laughs> over to you, Simon. I'll leave you to the... Great. To the Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me good? I can hear you well. It's very Fantastic. Clear. Great. So thanks a lot, uh, Ben, and uh, thanks a lot, API Days, for having me back again. Uh, so I want to dedicate this talk to everyone who's working uh, on climate change awareness and uh, activism at the moment. I think it's a super, super important topic. Um, great. Let me just start my uh, timer. So... It's running in the background. So values, yeah, let me start with values. Um, uh, uh, at, at least I can say why, kind of why I'm here. So I started Open Bank uh, Project uh, uh, back in uh, 2010, uh, and ideas were around greater financial transparency, greater, uh, you know, easier access uh, to 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 banking data uh basically i thought my you know my uh, own online banking interface that i had to use sucked uh but right from the very start you know it was about uh, open source uh and the reason i think that is Im is important is that you know um uh, open source is, uh, it, you know, it de democratizes access to this cool technology, right? And it it allows more competition. And also, just from a kind of software developer's perspective, um, you know, I can remember, like, back in the day, uh, my company, uh, Tosobi, did some uh, software for a real estate company, you know. And then at the end of the, you know, slightly tortuous process well not that tortuous but you know we put a lot of hard work into it and then at the end they said oh and please can you sign this which is like you know handing over the source code and stuff like that and as a developer you just don't want to do that right and so that's why uh, um, uh, open source is so popular with uh, with developers you know and you know in this track we're talking about uh, you know uh, um yeah, open banking, open finance, web, web two, and web three, and you know it's no surprise that most, if not all, the technology we're talking about is is uh, open source. And I think um, you know uh, uh, one uh, important value also is uh, something that Rao just uh, touched upon is uh, improving financial inclusion. Right. So uh, you know. Um, it's it's well kind of appreciated, I think, that uh, having some kind of uh, financial inclusion and is 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 needed for people to kind of step up and improve their improve their conditions and so on. So actually, Open Bank Project we're working with an organization uh, in Italy called Microfinancer, uh, who and that's their their main mission. But we yeah, we also work with you know uh, like several of the regulators that we work with are you know are, are, are have that as in their remit, right? Um, then then we then there is the topic of climate change. Uh, actually, I I'm going to give a full talk on that next week in London. Uh, uh, so I'm only going to touch on it here. But you know, uh, obviously, you know, it should be on everybody's mind. It's a super serious issue. And then fun, I'll let you uh, work out what the acronym, what that really means. Uh, uh, first word, first word is functional. Okay, I'll carry on a bit. So yeah, the world is evolving. Uh, people uh, are changing. Obviously, uh, the, you know, the earth is changing. Technology is changing. Money is changing, and APIs are. You know, changing with it, right? They're, so they're, uh, in some senses, they're driving it. So open banking APIs from Open Bank Project, you know, drove the o open banking kind of movement in a sense. So, you know, the APIs came first, and then kind of uh, then then together with the ideas, and then the formal uh, regulated APIs came back, and so on. So it's a loop. So we have choices with the technology, right? What what we we can imagine what we want to uh, what, what we want to build right we can be be the be the change right uh, as someone uh, famous said uh, 
Um, so yeah, we've got the climate change uh, going on, you know, super, super serious uh, uh, topic. And, you know, there is data in banks uh, and there's data all around the world uh, which you know, and APIs can 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 help help with that, right? So obviously, data is not the only uh, only thing. Data doesn't solve the problem, right? But uh, data can help, uh, you know, draw attention to the problem, and and you can use then you, you then you can use your other values to uh, to to make decisions about where you want to put your money and uh, w which companies you want to invest in, and so on. Uh, we had Xenia talking earlier about uh, quantum computing. Super, super fascinating. Uh, the, the the blockchains are, you know, are uh, equally uh, fascinating. Lots of crypto uh, going on. So, uh, and um, <clears throat> yeah, so distributed systems. So this is changing. And, you know, people are changing at the same time, right? So we've got uh, people are more climate aware. We've got more people, uh, more people being, you know, embracing vegetarianism uh, or, you know, or definitely eating less meat and so on. You know, we've got uh, an aging population with less children, uh, you know, uh, and we've got, you know, good, uh, like, uh, reparations really for you know past crimes that the the, that the West has uh, uh, has committed in terms of its like um, uh, yeah uh, imperial kind of uh, uh, yeah actions right uh, so that's all good probably got a long way to go and uh, we've got uh, on the downside we've got this social media polarization right which is which is not so cool. Um, we've got a lot more flexibility around uh, gender uh, association and so on and so forth. So if we put all that stuff together, this is my take on it, right? So I don't think there's going to be one system to rule them all. I think there are going to be multiple crypto uh, currencies and multiple blockchains. Uh, so a heterog heterog heterogeneous uh, uh, world uh, you know, full of uh, people who are going to be moving around more. They're going to be more conscious, hopefully, uh, uh, about uh, the climate, but also the technology they use, right? So, you know, like I wrote my first software when I was like 16 or so. And, um, you know, my son, who is 12, has been writing computer games for the last year at least, right? Um, so, uh we're going to be more technically aware so and there's an evolution going on with uh money right so we started off with gold uh you know and uh i think you know when the the when when the there have been some shifts right so the uh, like central banks like moved away from gold at some point and this caused some crashes right um after gold we had cash uh, and then we got so online money, and now we've got uh, uh, crypto cryptocurrencies, right? Um, and programmable money, right? So smart contracts. Uh, in you know, uh, starting primarily with Ethereum, but now coming to uh, uh, the uh, Bitcoin blockchain as well. Um, you know, and then we've got these uh, stable coins coming in. So coins, uh, crypto coins, which are pegged uh, to 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 the to the dollar, uh, and you know, and uh, as we've been, uh, as my company, we've been working uh, more with uh, blockchain companies in the last last year. You know, I've been uh, not forced, but I've been uh, uh, having to deal with you know wallets and. Uh, ledgers and all this kind of stuff and uh, but it's amazing how fast the money is moving right so it's like i would see that this crypto uh world um has faster money it has newer money like the investors are newer there is less um uh, uh less uh, invested in older kind of technology bigger players right and more is invested in more in kind of younger, more nimble, more agile players, right? So, the money in uh, uh, money uh, 
and and I would also say alliances, right, are being formed, uh, you know, much faster uh, in in this space, right? So, you know, we came together uh, with uh, with API three uh, quite recently, and they just spent a couple of weeks in our office in Berlin, which was fantastic. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, I, I, I couldn't have imagined that happening with a, a bank, you know, in a sense. Yeah. So, um, although we, you know, we enjoy working with the, the banks that we work with, of course. So, in a sense, technology is married money. I don't know where that phrase came from, but uh, you know, it's uh, they're kind of in bed uh, together. And you know, and we've seen a, a very real kind of uh, form of that in in El Salvador, right? Um, uh, and you know, a lot of other countries in Latin America are very interested, uh, you know, about that. And actually, we we are, you know, we have some clients in Africa, and you know, they they are are also interested and i know that there's stuff going on in uh in africa with for instance cardano and so on so uh yeah uh technology and money are a little bit uh more more hand in hand um i mean there are some uh issues with it right so the bitcoin network is using a lot of energy uh, there are miners where you can you can get uh, you can you can uh, get these mining machines. You can get them in um, uh, uh, carbon neutral data centers, right? If you if you wait, uh, but there are also other networks which use this proof of stake uh, rather than proof of work. So uh, Cardano is is one of them. Um, and they also have like smart contracts uh, coming in. Something that I find really interesting is this multi-party computation. So this uh, came from this kind of two-party computation. So the basic uh, mathematical principle or, uh, or, 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 or problem was you got two millionaires. They want to know who's the most wealthy of the two, but neither of them want to... Um, uh, say how much money they they have in their bank account already. So, um, in other words, uh, you you want to have a, a a function which can take inputs, uh, but the, the 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 people providing the inputs to the function can't can't see it. You know, and uh, this is obviously useful if you want to sign uh, sign. Um, uh, uh, crypto transactions and so on, but you want to do it safely, so you want to have maybe a quorum of people uh, doing that uh, to to if you want to send a large or less large amount of money, uh, you want to be sure that uh, it's done. So uh, yeah, so um, lots and lots of good maths behind it, and uh, yeah, uh, Credo, who we're working with on this uh, uh, hackathon coming up in El Salvador, they use that. It, you know, in their in their technology, and I think that's uh, really, really, really interesting. Um, smart contracts, is a, in in general, I mean, if you haven't uh, started getting into them, then uh, do so. Just have a look. Uh, I, I've only touched the surface of them. Maybe next year I'll have uh, a a demo with uh, smart contracts doing something doing something fun. Uh, but just the just the just the principle that you can have software which is basically signed and locked and does something um, uh, upon certain conditions is is fascinating. Uh, excuse me. Another thing that um, uh, I think is is kind of baked into this whole. Uh, uh, blockchain uh, ecosystems and you know relates in a sense to finance and so on is uh, are these decentralized autonomous organizations uh, DAOs and I first came across that uh, and it's one of the things that I really liked about API 3 actually because they use this DAO uh, for their decision making process right so uh, which I guess at the end of the day uh, uh, for a company, a decision-making process boils down to what you're going to spend money on, right? So, um, 
you know, do we invest in this uh, feature or this uh, yeah, product or this alliance or whatever, then, you know, uh, you know, uh, you have a number of people who make a decision. Yes, no, the decision is on the on the blockchain for everyone to see. And, you know, uh, you, you're good to go. And APIs are going to, you know, uh, APIs are definitely going to be there, right? So CBDCs, not really blockchain, but definitely digital. They're going to have uh, uh, a APIs at the front. You know, lots of uh, regulators are interested in this at the moment. We're talking to some uh, of them. And, uh, you know, and APIs are feeding uh, data into into uh, smart contracts uh, via what we call uh, oracles, right? Um, so th this is my, you know, like 10 line, is it 10 line of uh, summary of what I think we're going to see. Uh, so it'll be, you know, m multiple uh, uh, APIs connected together. Um, no one thing, but it's going to be more open source, even more open source. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be value based, uh, smart contracts, you know, IoT, and you know, I won't, I won't read read the rest. So uh, yeah, let me just show you a couple of things. Uh, if I go here, so this is uh, our um, uh, API three sandbox uh, with with Open Bank project. And oh, hold on now. I need to get back to my presentation. Damn it. Ah, uh, this one. Okay. And I could show. So, for instance, this is an open map project API. This was a, this is with a bunch of new um, uh, uh, kind of, yeah, you might call them web. Web three APIs, in a sense, or Web two APIs, talking to. So this is all the Credo APIs, right? For uh, what, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, what you can do on on Credo. So uh, you know, and that's really nice about an API catalog, right? You can understand, uh, you can understand uh, uh, what a what a product does by uh checking out uh checking out the documentation yeah um now let me go back to my um my talk sorry i think i have to okay now present i will present here we have a few seconds minutes left let's see how we are with our timing oh yeah 17 minutes so yeah the last thing that i wanted to mention was this fun right i was kind of joking that it's uh, like functional, uh, unambiguous, blah, blah, blah. But no, it's just fun, right? I mean, um, you know, we uh, when we say, yeah, when I say fun, API should be fun. Uh, I mean, they should be easy to use. Uh, you know, they should have good documentation and all the rest of it. Uh, and yeah, so I'd like to show you something which is a little bit fun at the end here. Uh, and uh, so what I've what I've got here is I've got a uh, like an embedded Linux system here. This Bella thing. It's actually in a synthesizer. And uh, yeah, maybe I can move the camera. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see that. Uh, and that is actually communicating with this. Uh, hold on, let me switch to the Node Red uh, instance. It's communicating with a Node Red instance. Um, over UDP, and uh, it's here. Da da da. You can see that. And uh, so that's UDP. And then the Node Red instance is calling uh, Open Bank Project uh, API, uh, and uh, based on the uh, the gates uh, and the control voltage. So it's funny. Uh, Raoul was talking about CV being a central validator. Well, uh, in by like analog synths, you talk about CV being control voltage. So if I just run on this, we'll get a bit of techno
yeah, a little bit of fun. I think we all need a little bit of fun uh, in our API products. So, yeah, we want to make our API products easily accessible, etc. Um, now, do I have one more, one more enjoy slide? <laughs> you enjoyed that? Good. Uh, yeah. So uh, let me just finish on this slide, I guess. Right. So we have this hackathon coming up, um, and uh, you can yeah get to it and join the Discord server, etc. From here. And yeah, and I'm going to be in London next week, by the way. And so if you, if anyone wants fancies meeting up, it's actually my yeah. birthday, so I might be a bit busy, but. Well, happy yeah. birthday. I mean, <laughs> super interesting talk, Simon. Thank you so much for getting that together. Um, I think it's super interesting about these two technologies that you see. Well, sorry, not two technologies, but one technology and then climate change. And I'm interested, you know, how they converge over a long period of time and how they start to. You know, maybe, maybe you know, can can distributed led technology and new economic models when it comes to programmable money start to maybe play its role in effectively you know, potentially fighting those climate change issues, which is driven by the traditional system that we live in today. So, yeah, super interesting. Super. Interesting. Yeah, I think I, I think the the the, the uh, you know the. Uh, a possibility there, right, is this when you've got data, right, and when you've got uh, when you've got emissions data, like they talk about scope one, two, three emissions data, yeah. you know. So, you know, and I'm 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 designing a couple of APIs for that at the moment, um, you know. But if that data is coming into into an oracle, right, and it's like yes. if a bank publishes this, right, or some other organization publishes this data, or even if individuals we publish this data. So, what's my What's my emission kind of level or whatever as a person, you know, or, you know, what um, and certainly as a business, right, because this is going to be related to risk. Some regulation is going to come in. It's going to, yeah. uh, you know, and, and then and then smart contracts and uh, via the oracles, they can make decisions about that. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can you can you can create a much more efficient system, uh, which is which is super exciting. Um, I mean. I, I think we're we're kind of coming to the end of the talk. Um, yep. I'll just do one last quick check for questions. Uh, there was a comment saying that was great. I think that was the music and the talk, of course. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> well, um, if you, if anyone wants to hear some more uh, API driven techno, then just please get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> Much more where that comes it. from. <laughs> um, and yeah, I might, might come and check out your talk, Simon, next week in London. So let yeah, me know, cool. Uh, let yeah, me know what's yeah, going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah great. Um, well, thanks very much again. And I think.